Do you still listen to the 70s and 80s songs? If yes, then don't tell that you haven't heard Stella Parton songs. She is literally one of the living legends who is in the shadow of her sister, Dolly. Listening to her music is worthwhile and knowing about her life too. Right guys? So today in this video, we dive into Stella Parton's personal life. But before that, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for more updates. No wonder Stella Parton has touched millions of hearts all around the world, not just through her breathtaking music, but also through her stage, television, and film appearances. Stella Parton's Good as Dolly Parton became a music enthusiast at a young age, singing the gospel with her family in church, on television, and the radio. And, back in 1975, Stella formed her own record label, Soul, Country, and Blue Scab Records, which earned her the title Maverick. She wrote and recorded her debut single, I Want to Hold You in My Dreams Tonight, which kicked career in country music. Since then, she has released 39 albums and 32 chart singles, which got her numerous nominations, including multiple ASCAP awards, a CM and Music City News Award nominations. Her first two albums, which included many original compositions, had an early impact and expressed the same sincerity and integrity in her music today. Sensing creative limits, Stella endured the rigors of the stage, appearing in four touring New York productions, including Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, The Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, Pump Boys and Dinettis, and Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. She has appeared in films such as Cloud Dancer 1980, The Loner 1988, Country Gold 1982, her television productions include The Dukes of Hazard 1979 and the CBS TV Movement Color of Love. JC Story 2000. Above all, Parton is an author with three cookbooks. She became an audience favorite on the Celebrity Masterchef series in 2018. By the way, how much do you think Stella Parton is worth? Three million dollars. Well, it's ten, not three. Yes, you heard that correct. She holds a staggering net worth of $10 million. Not to mention, the 72-year-old has amassed this hefty sum throughout her career in the music and film industry that spans over five decades, precisely 55 years. So we've come to know how accomplished and thriving Parton's professional life is. What about her personal life? Is Stella Parton still married? Celebrity affairs and divorces have become more or less a dime a dozen. Have you ever wondered how many marriages it would take to find the cellmate of your life? You probably haven't. Well, the famous music icon Stella Parton too has not figured it out yet. Married and divorced three times and probably dated several, Stella Parton is nowadays enjoying her singlehood. She was 17 during her first marriage, became a mother at 19, and divorced as she turned 21. Similarly, her second and third marriages didn't work out either. Currently, the 72-year-old Parton continues to perform and advocate for victims of sexual assault and domestic violence worldwide. In March 2019, Stella criticized her sister Dolly, who is also one of the prominent singers, for not using her stardom to bring attention to sexual harassment in the country and the Western music industry in the light of the Me Too movement. On the other hand, Dolly Parton speaks out against injustice in the music industry. She hasn't been as candid about the Me Too movement as her sister's needs, but she has made it clear that she is a massive supporter of all women. Dolly told in an interview to The Guardian, if being a feminist means I'm all for women, yes, but I don't feel I have to march, hold up a sign label myself. I think the way I have conducted my life my business and myself speaks for itself. I don't think of it as being feminist. It's not a label I have to put on myself. I'm just all for gals. It seems that the two sisters have some misunderstandings between them. It appears like the two sisters are at odds and have some misunderstandings. So let's check the relationship of the sisters. Does Dolly Parton get along with her sister Stella? In an interview, Stella revealed, growing up with Dolly Parton was a tough time for her. 
they were just two of 12 children born into a poor but proud family living in the Appalachian Mountains of Tennessee. Stella was being pushed to the sidelines while Dolly climbed to celebrity status in the southern state. Stella believed she was constantly a thorn in Dolly's side. Her only desire was to be a part of what her sister Dolly was doing. But sadly, Dolly wanted Stella to become disoriented. Stella struggled to make a living in country music as Dolly rose to megastardom and had multi-million dollar record deals. Dolly found every reason in the world to keep her as far away from Stella as possible. And over the years, Stella ultimately gave up and let her have it. The feeling of exclusion from Dolly in her younger years has left a lasting impression on Stella. Despite their history of disagreements, Stella clearly adores and respects her sister. And there's no doubt that Dolly isn't feeling the same way. So yes, Dolly Parton does get along with her sister Stella. We'll hope to see the two sisters release a song together in their last years. Won't it be a fabulous moment to live for both of their fans? We've come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to smash the like button if you like the video.